Hello, everyone, and welcome to TYT Sports on this fantastic Friday. Are you okay there, buddy? Yeah, okay. okay. Is my energy too high for you? Is that it? Me, man. Are you? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I'm excited. I hope you guys are excited. Drew Carter is here, of course, as well, and uh, the Reverend J.R. Jackson. So let's start with something from your hometown, Cleveland, right. Ohio. You know, the Cleveland baseball team instituted and started in 1901, the Cleveland Bluebirds, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. Now, they have Chief Wahoo, as many people like to say, and basically his name that is on the cap still on the jerseys, but they're trying to limit the presence of Chief Wahoo. Now, he's been in, basically, on the jerseys and caps since 1947. We have a, a picture of him very quickly. I know that a lot of you guys are not humongous baseball fans, but if we could pull that up very quickly. You see Chief Wahoo, it was redesigned in 1951, but they are trying to basically water him down and make him less of a presence. Now, as a Clevelandite, is that the correct way to put it? A member uh, uh, from Cleveland, Ohioan. Ohioan. Yes. Uh, he went to Ohio State, so don't judge he, him too uh, much. Uh, how do you feel about <laughs> this? I mean, it, the history, but also with the present times. Yes, the history. Obviously, I grew up with it, and you kind of, uh, when you're younger, when you're a kid, you don't know any better. You love, you just love your hometown team. But my mom was always, uh, always against it, and uh, I could, really? I never. Oh you know, yeah, she, was she in the minority she, with that. She just never really. Um, Is that your mom calling you that right was now? My mom, sorry. Oh, okay. She just, um, you know, she just, you know, she just knows that it's. It is, it's pretty racist, you know, point, point blank. Mm -hmm. And I know it's his, there's history behind it, and I know that has some sort of, like, you know, factor with Cleveland and how people feel about it, but it's a racist, it's a racist logo. And uh, now that I'm older, I, I see her point. I still love my Indians, and I, I think it's a good idea. You know, they're not taking it away totally. I think sooner or later it probably will be, but now it's off the hats, you know. Okay, now let me ask you this. Not to cut you up, but let no. me ask you this. If they were to change the name, would that be too much for you? Yeah, I think I think I, I think. But isn't the name just as racist just, as it, the logo? It is. It is. Like, and I guess I'm just being, you know, two faced. I guess. But I, I, I feel like I, I feel like the logo is more when you see it. It's just like it. it, it I feel like it hurts more when you see a. Uh, I mean, obviously the name Indians is is mm -hmm. a very racial term too. But the the way of the Chief Wahoo is smiling and the and these. I mean, just red and with a feather in the back. I mean, it's just it's not a good look. And so I think it's better off. Watering it down and slowly just pushing it out. As you said, I think it's going to happen eventually. So, so when and the thing is, there's levels of how it works. Like you're saying, you you, you still have some connection to the name, but then the the logo is still that's yeah. that's like the next step higher, which mm -hmm. I understand. So the thing is, it's eventually going to get get uh, get phased out. But even when it does, people who still loved what it used to be and how fun that logo used to look, right. they can still look back and say, oh, I remember back when they were called the Indians and, and we had that logo. And those still yeah. people will still wear the throwback yeah. stuff, you don't the have old school stuff, now. but like. The newer generation of kids don't ha don't really need to see that, but I feel like the older kids and older men and women that have grew up with it, they can still wear see, it. Here's the thing: when you say you know they don't necessarily need to see it, if you were to go on the Cleveland Indians website, you will see that the C, you will see the C right. that they have now. Right. You will not see any indication that Chief Wahoo even existed. You'll see it at the very bottom of the page. Yeah. That was the only time I saw it on the website. But right. they're still selling merchandise. Right. So it's not like they're taking it away entirely. They still want to make sales. They're yeah, still they, trying they're to make, trying to make sales. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I totally understand yeah. that. By the way, they put out a satisfaction survey, which I really like this. Mm. I think that it shows management is on top of their game. So here's what they said. This logo, and they sent this out to season ticket holders. This logo reflects the heritage of the Indians. I feel a strong, positive, emotional connection to this logo. This logo makes me proud of the Indians. This logo represents more than the team. It represents the city of Cleveland. This logo is an important part of my support for the Indians. Answer, options included, strongly disagree, to strongly agree. Five different, uh, five different answers that one could give. So out of anything, management is taking this incredibly seriously. Oh, but but let, me, let me tell you guys something, a little inside baseball. Oh. I have the Cleveland Indians C cap. And I freaking love it. Oh, yeah. I love it. I think it's nice. It's clean. It's pristine. I mean, I, I, I love it. I, I'm, I'm, some people say it's boring, maybe? No. I don't yeah, know. that's been the number one criticism, I have both. And honestly, even out here, I see a lot of people just wearing the C. And I'll go up to someone, like, you from Cleveland? Like, no. I just like yeah. the hat. And so, I mean, especially it comes in different colors and different, like. Sure. But, I mean. I like it. Like I said, and it works for other teams. Look, you got the Reds logo. You got the the Red Sox yeah. hat. All these they, it's, they've done these. I mean, the Dodgers ones. Just L.A. A lot of them do it, so mm -hmm. it can work. I mean, it's just 
Everybody has to get used to it. You this just is the way it works. I mean, we used to wear leather helmets. And then uh, <laughs> they, they changed it to, you know, hard helmets. Like, we don't like hard helmets. We want leather helmets. Like, okay, maybe it's a good idea. What are the chances that we actually bring up leather helmets and Red Grange <laughs> all in the span of 15 minutes? Amazing to me. By the way, the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates are getting rid of Jolly Roger as well. Oh, yeah, and they're just so going with the P. So I'm sure the Pirates will be uh, really offended by that. I all right. The P is just as clean. Just straight. Yeah. Just, yeah. Uh, the P, it's, it's the P is okay, but I prefer the, the navy, 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 dark, dark, dark blue. Oh, and the red, okay. more than the black and yellow. Okay. And now, Probably because of the Now that song. I'm thinking about it, it seems like the majority teams simply just have the letters of their city on their hat. It's, it's really all there. Yeah, that's why Anaheim, the changed them, yeah. Anaheim changed from the A to the L.A. Because the L.A. logo sells way more merchandise than mm -hmm. the A. Yeah. So they wanted to put the L.A. Angels of Anaheim or something like that. So, so Will we take JR to a game is the big question. We should. To Los Angeles and Angels, Angels of, of Anaheim. Anaheim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to get the makeup out of you, so we'll just wait for that.